I was in college and uh, a bunch of guys were like, what? You've never seen Top Gun? What's wrong with you? Uh, so we went and watched it. And I remember at the time I was deciding to become an actor. And um, I remember thinking, man, that would be so cool to do a film like that. Uh, and here we are. I think the intention is that the audience can feel as, as closely as possible what it is like to be in the actual jet. Um, there's nothing like it, but if they can film in the cockpit, you know, six cameras going, you get a little bit more of that 360 sense of, of what it might be like to be in these jets. And, um, you know, we want the audience to, to be able to feel that rush. Joe actually told me in the audition, so this was before I had the role, uh, and I think he was sort of almost vetting people to make sure I didn't freak out. Um, he told me that the actors would all be in jets. And I stopped and I was like, wait, we're, we're gonna be in the jet flying in these scenes. And he's like, yeah. And I just, I remember I got chills and I got so excited and also like, my heart kind of broke because I was like, oh God, I want this so bad. If I don't get this, I'm going to be so sad uh, because that just sounded like the coolest, coolest thing on earth. His passion for flying is something that I think is really contagious uh, and it's crucial for a film like this because this is an aviation movie to the nth degree. He designed what he would for himself, a, a really intense training regimen. Um, and, and we went through that and, you know, we had to because, because pulling G's is uh, such a taxing experience that in order to also act and do props and roll tapes and do all these other things that we had to do in the jet, you need to be able to, pulling G's is to be the least of your concerns. And for anyone who did get nauseous, you have to be able to overcome that mentally or at least have had the training to know how to overcome it uh, in order to keep going. Being in an F-18 is unreal. It feels so different to be in the cockpit than to be watching one go by. The intensity is just so much more palpable in one of those things. And it could be because um, all of the ejection procedure training, you know, like you, I, I'm just somebody who starts thinking of all the things that can go wrong and trying to be like, yeah, it's fine. Um, uh, it's, it's a pretty crazy experience. I watch aerial footage now with a completely different eye because being in the plane and seeing what, how, how those things work is 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 like nothing else but I think in this movie I think they're going to make people feel as closely as possible what it is actually like to be up there and to see a plane at that distance Phoenix is she's definitely a tough cookie she keeps emotions close to the chest uh, and I think she has to for the for the nature of the job that she does. Um, uh, she doesn't underestimate anyone. I think a lot of the guys at first don't take Maverick very seriously. They don't really know about his reputation and, and they just uh, assume they can beat him. And I think she's a little bit more, I think she's a little smarter than that. Um, she uh, She's very loyal to Rooster and to her wizzo, Bob. Um, she, she takes this training very seriously. Uh, she, I don't think she's been handed anything on a silver platter. So she has to work twice as hard to, you know, be at the same level. Um, and I think she does that. 